if you think the price of winning is too high, wait till you get the bill from regret. And that bill from regret is generational. When you can't control what's happening to you, control how you respond to it. That's where your power is. Mm -hmm. Bravery is not the absence of fear. Bravery is feeling fear and moving forward anyway. The greatest version of you is not the I can do anything version of you. The greatest version of you is the di disciplined version of you. The greatest version of you is the version that has parameters. No, I don't do that. I don't drink that. I don't go there with these people. I'm focused. When it feels scary to jump, Ian, that is exactly when you jump. Otherwise, you end up staying in the same place your whole life. Y'all, sometimes I add way too much and it's a little overpowering and this time I'm like, okay, don't do that. Let's add less and it's not strong enough. <laughs> so, I'm gonna add some more to it. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, it's not even a strong ring. I be adding way too much. I add agave syrup. And sometimes I just add way too much agave.
very watered down. That's horrible. Probably the worst one I've made. I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, still with the dolls that I grew beside, all the niggas brown, I let it die, gotta watch the time, cause it's fine right now, I'm outside in a damn G, right outside, TT, two turn baby girl, you know me, Call the shorty off a fan star Just do all the hoodie, it's a great shot Way that I've been living, I'm conventional I was trying to make it to the end, you know Certain things just started getting pissed off Think we need to have a sudden pressure I could be a man with maybe down the road Right now I would rather see my heart turn to bone Rather see my heart turn crystal So I got these, I got these lights off Amazon and I'm gonna install them underneath my upper kitchen cabinets. I'm hoping that they'll increase the overall look of my food content videos that I try on TikTok. I've seen other people with these lights underneath their cabinets and it just looks so good, y'all. I just always find it so amazing. Like why put this tiny thing inside such a big box? Like look at this. Do you see that? Like all this space, this is just, I don't know. Okay. And I mean, it wasn't even bubble wrapped. Like what was that for? I don't know. But I'm so excited for this. I've been holding off on doing this all because I wanted to record it for you guys. And it's just been sitting there for over a week. Oh. So these, I'm assuming, is to stick against the wall. And then you, like, slide these. Onto it. Like I said, I do create um, food content on. Oh, that's so great. Oh. I do create food content on TikTok. So I'm hoping to take it next level with these. Why is this one not turning on? I'm assuming it's dead, so I'm gonna charge it. This one is turning on. This one isn't. I'm okay, going to charge this one. I'm gonna install that. I'm thinking. I'm thinking one under that side and another on this side. Maybe I just need one because I do have light on the microwave, as you can see. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see how this goes. I need to charge this one. So I'm just trying to figure out how these work exactly before I install them. Ooh, it's magnetic. But first, oh, I should wipe the surface. Y'all, I feel so uncomfortable because I'm wearing a bra. I don't ever wear bras, but I said, you know what, let me put on one for the camera. I hope I get it right on the first attempt. I mean, they do give you extra um, sticky metals. I'm gonna call it sticky metals because that's what they are. They do give you extras, so that's good. Um,
Well, hopefully I get it on the first try. Yeah. I mean, it's not that bad underneath here. It's not that bad at all. If anything, it's really good. But you just want to make it. Sure that this thing will stick properly. Okay. Let's see where I would want this on. I want to move this like I don't like this toaster oven here but it's so convenient to have it here because I need it every morning for breakfast for my toast do you all see that already I feel like there's only one light setting like it's only ever gonna get this bright so they have an auto. Whenever it senses movement, it'll turn on. And they also just have on. I think I'm gonna put it on auto. But yeah, I don't think I want it all the way back here. That just doesn't make any sense, I think. I don't know. Maybe a little bit more towards the front. I don't see the purpose of putting one over here because Whenever I'm showing or showcasing, whenever I'm showcasing my food for content, it's always right here, right? So I feel like it only makes sense to place this right here. But it does come with two. Like, why would I just not use the other one? I don't know. I'll see. But yeah, certain things, like, I'm just so obsessed with home decor everything like even this i want to get rid of this i want to get rid of this and get um it's like a slab of wood that's literally magnetic that's literally magnetic it's dope but maybe there's like a cheaper alternative because the one that i saw in store is literally like 400 dollars. i was like excuse me uh-uh not today but I would love to get it, you know? But yeah, right now I'm just letting underneath here um, dry, then I'm gonna peel it and stick it. Not that bad of a task. And then I might do a try on haul for you guys. And the balcony, I wanted to work on it today, but we're probably gonna have to do that on another day because it's been raining all week in Toronto and it's wet it's wet on the balcony and who wants to be out there on a wet balcony because i gotta like get low to do the measurements and the cut in and yeah we'll just wait for a day that's sunny next week today's friday next week should be pretty sunny so yeah so, so i took a little pause to let the surface under here dry and i think it's pretty good now plus i just got a package in the mail and i'm really excited we're about to get into that shortly but let's finish with this first because I feel like I'm just all over the place. I just got a shipment from Amazon that I've been waiting for all week. I'm just over the moon. I'm just trying to see where the magnet is like the strongest. Probably right here. Is it that deep? I don't know. Whatever, we're gonna stick it. <sighs> kind of nervous. I feel like right here. Oh. Okay, I think that's pretty good. I love it. I freaking love it. I've been waiting for this. I've been waiting. Let's see how, like, the automatic light works. So I'm going to put it on auto. I'm going to walk away. But thing is, how long is it going to take to turn off? Anywho, I'll probably test it tonight and show you guys how it works. Include some footage of that.
You guys, I just got, I just got an Amazon delivery. My camera tripod, it actually says that on the package. Like, why would you be telling my business? And why am I showing you guys my address? I'm gonna have to blur that part out. Um, okay, stay still. I don't know what this is. Um, it feels like the ball head. I don't know if that comes separately, but we'll see. But anywho, I'm gonna try to include some clips using the Sony ZV-E10. And yeah, I'm gonna actually include some clips of me unboxing it. It felt like Christmas. Like I was literally by the fireplace, you'll see in the footage. Yeah, I don't know. Hopefully like I can get accustomed to it pretty fast because your girl is trying to create content. I did do my research before ordering this and it just seemed like one of the best. Quite a lot of people go with this one. And the case? Okay. Do y'all see this? Oh, I got multiple. Okay, I guess this is like cross shoulder and this one is just like to hold in your hand. That's amazing for on the go, but I doubt I'll be moving to bring this with me anywhere. Never know. So, that's a never. So, this tripod actually goes to about five feet tall. It probably comes with an instruction manual because I know like you're not supposed to force certain functions. So I'm probably gonna have a look at that and then come back and show you guys. Hey y'all, do y'all see this? 
this is so tall if i said five feet i think because of this extension point right here it gets even longer maybe about two feet longer hey guys this is this is how tall pretty tall like you can get those overhead shots absolutely no problem i've been dying to find a setup a tripod something that will get me those bird's eye view shots especially for clicking um for my content videos and i'm really excited one really cool thing i wanted to show you guys is so yeah like you can literally move this anyhow you want look at that you could swing it around y'all you could do anything this tripod is Yeah, I love this thing. Like, this is it. Like, it's gonna take me more time to get more swift with it, but as for now, I think I got the understanding of it, and it's really amazing. Like I said, if you are thinking of getting a tripod for your phone and you may want to pursue YouTube content creation further down the line, just get this as an investment. It's about 150. I'm in Canada. I think we paid probably like 180 it's a little bit cheaper i don't know okay but it's gonna be a little bit cheaper for you guys in the us um it's a great investment i would say get this if, even if you want to get it for your phone and you think you might want to start a youtube um and get a camera further down the line just get this you're gonna be able to hit all those angles um you're not gonna regret it don't get a tripod for your phone and then later on down the line you're gonna have to get another tripod for your camera like this beats any of my other tripods like you're gonna save money by just going with this initially trust me like it's so versatile so i later found out that you can actually detach the leg and it becomes a monopod so essentially it becomes a selfie stick and you can extend it to just about any length again you guys saw how much it extends in the previous clips I just wanted to come on here and include this clip and show you guys that you can literally do just about anything with this tripod. Like, it couldn't get any better. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm now shooting on my camera. I don't know if I'm gonna like the quality. <gasps> oh my god. Y'all, I just broke. The glass in my lantern. How? This big block of candle is what broke it. Do y'all see this? Okay. So we're just gonna pretend like this didn't happen. Back to the point. Oh, thought I had glass in my hand. Um, back to the point. The point is. I just want to play around and get some clips on this camera to see how it compares to my iPhone 13 Pro Max camera because right now I am using the kit lens and I'm not quite sure how the quality is. I did the reviews and apparently it's just not that amazing so I want to be able to judge that for myself. I am definitely looking into a, another lens and after maybe creating two videos on youtube like this i will treat myself to that lens um i'm trying to get the setup for my little try on haul i'm getting super hungry i don't know if i'm gonna get into the kitchen and make food again or actually eat dinner because it's yeah it's seven it's 7 30 almost so I might eat dinner and then do the try on haul and that will be the end of this video for today and we'll do the balcony on another day. Okay guys, this is what I'm having for dinner. It's simply just some white rice underneath, ground turkey with a side of broccoli i'm trying to eat really light and 
healthy. Okay, so ground turkey has less fat than ground beef. Have some mixed veg. Well, you can't really see it, but there's some mixed vegetables in the rice as well. And this is what I'll be having for my dinner. So I typically love to watch something on YouTube, something probably educational or entertaining. I like watching these fashion shows. I don't think I'm gonna do that. I did see a thumbnail up here. I like watching videos like this, so I guess we're gonna find out what's wrong with our country. <laughs> I'm about to eat some of my boyfriend's food because I've been starving all day trying to make this video for you guys. So yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of pasta and hopefully that does it. I just still feel hungry after eating what I just ate and it's crazy. But then again, I've been starving all day. So we are about to enjoy a little bit of this pasta. Again, it is made with ground turkey. Maybe um, just before bed, we'll have some fruit. And yeah, this should do it. <laughs> Y'all, I usually don't eat this much, but I've been skipping meals. Like I only had two meals today and I'm starving. Y'all, and this is why my back is still big, but we're working on it. The set I've been wearing in this video is from the same company I've been meaning to tell you guys about. I have it in black and I have the navy blue bottoms. Unfortunately, I don't think they have the navy blue matching top. So this is the black set, y'all. It's the same thing. Different color, same amazing material, same comfortability. Same snug like feeling. I said I had to save the package to show you guys what it looks like. Cause I think it's pretty good packaging for a Shein order. Cause in this yellow bag, I can get rid of this. And it comes folded up in paper. I haven't tried on the navy set yet. I just wanted to unwrap it on camera. I really hope, like, I really hope you guys get to see the quality of the material. I love the trim on the bottoms. It's amazing. Like, it just, it gives you the look that you want. You know what I'm saying? It just, it gives you that illusion, but everything about these is just amazing. I mean, why go to Lululemon when you have the best possible dupe out there that is the exact same thing? The only difference is the money you are going to keep in your pockets. Bitch, I'm by my chicken like it's a two-piece. You can have your bitch back, she a groupie. She just swallow all my kids in a two-seat. Swagged out. Familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back out. Bullshit. Spin back with a full clip. They say I'm with a full clip. And my shooters, they shooting. I'm going to take it. They do it. I get the breeze, then it's adios. If I'm with the trees, then she give it though. When I see police, then we gain low. That's another piece. That's another zone. In a VV, now she down to get crazy. I got all this water on me like Fiji. Bitch, I'm posted up with hats and the sleazies. Slip in the Zaza, they go straight to the Mata. Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his Tata, then he dancing my Tata. Slip in the Zaza, they go straight to the Mata. Then I'm 
buy my ticket like it's a two piece. You can have your bitch back to your groupie. She just wanna all my kids in a two seat. Swagged out, familiar, we bringing them gas out. I still got some racks stuffed in the trap house. Off the 42, I'm blowing her back out. I'm back out. Bullshit, spin back with a full clip. They say I'm with a full clip. And my shooters, they shooting. I won't take it, they do it. that are laying on top from here put them over there and yeah then I'm going to wipe off the balcony railings like it was really bad I wiped it off a few days ago but look at this I wiped it off just before we got the mesh installed and the birds came back and did their thing, so I'm gonna have to wipe it all down again. And yeah, I think this is pretty much it. I would imagine that I was gonna put some of the white stones here and some at the furthest end down there, but um, we only had one bag and it was only enough to do these two sections. So. I don't know if I'm going to leave it like that or if I wanted to use some of that extra grass and fill in the space. It's just going to be way more cut in. 
a little bit more work to get the measurements and precise fit. I might do it, I might not. I might get another bag of stones and fill it in. I'm not quite sure. But for now, my legs hurt, my feet hurt. And I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I might. Or I might do either or. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping once, okay, so what? Someone hit the block or my tape froze us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. Say my day's the number, but I keep waking up. Know you see my text, baby, please say something. Why am I the glass, man, the chiefs get hung. Niggas got to move on my release day, huh? Bitch, this is fame, not clout. I don't even know what that's about. Watch your mouth. Baby got an ego twice the size of the crib. I can never tell the shit it is what it is. Said what I had to and did what I did. Never turn my back on every G. God forbid. Turned you got the paddock on my wrist. Doing front flips. Giving you my number, but don't hit me on no dumb shit. Working on a weekend like usual. Way off in the deep end like usual. Niggas swear they passed us, they doing too much. Haven't done my taxes, I'm too turned up. Virgil got a paddock on my wrist going nuts. Niggas caught me slipping, what's okay, so what? Someone hit the block of my tape, it was us. Man, a house in Rosewood, this shit too plush. I'm gonna be adding the finished look to my next video so look out for that if you're interested we're gonna be adding some workout equipments down here I'm also thinking to get a faux palm tree somewhere probably down here as well I think that would look really nice and we're gonna be adding some chairs right over here to sit down read a book relax unwind whatever and I'll have that in my next video. I'm quite happy with how this looks so far. I've been waiting for this, so yeah. And a disregard over here and my ashy hands. I don't know what happened over there, but um, we're just gonna pretend like it's not there. And yeah, guys, this was really simple and affordable. So if you have a balcony and you want to go for the same look, go for it.